Charles Gibbons. <laughs> and you can tell the man you're coming, you might have tickets. Go ahead and see. We're not going to do any of this. I'm just going to talk to you. What, what do you want? Just start on the opening statement. Well, first of all, you know, I really, really, really appreciate Coach Patino giving us the opportunity, you know, to come and play. And uh, he's been very good to me throughout my career. He, uh, you know, Kentucky Wesleyan. He's one of the guys that stepped up and battered for me and helped me get that job. So you know, I owe him a lot. I think Louisville. You know, and I know that's what you guys want to talk about. I think Louisville's long. I think they're athletic, and I think what you'll see is that they will improve greatly throughout the year. You know, that there, there's no question that they're going to get there. Of you guys are going to have to help me on names a little bit. I'm from Harlan County in Lynch, so I can't. I'm not real good at knowing all these names. But Mango, am I right? You know, he's a battler. He's a you know he's a leader. And he's a guy that's you know really really good on the glass. Obviously, both you know graduate transfers are good players, and and it's just going to take it's going to take them a little bit of time to get it together. And, and what people need to understand is an era passed last year. You know the you know Montrez Harrell, you know Rozier, all those guys, and you know in the last two you know the last two to three years, you know it's it's a different new young version era of, of Louisville basketball and, and it's going to take you know a little bit of time and they're in the world's best league I mean ACC is the best league in the country and you know all, all I know is this and you 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 think about this for a second anytime that you've ever counted a Rick Pitino team or thought that they might not be that good or somebody counts him out he'll, he'll, he'll surprise he'll do it every time and I think before this season's over with they're an NCAA team and It'll be a force to be reckoned with. That's my opinion. Any questions? Rick said he needed to have it needed to go to the press to, to jump chart the offense a little bit. Did you see that? I think it you know, I think it helped. And, and you know, again, I mean this this is how young they are. He's not spent a lot of time on it. You know, he's not spent a lot of time on the press. And you know, that's a Rick Patino trademark. You know, he's just getting his defense, you know, getting things down. As that comes along, I mean, look at their athleticism. My goodness, you know, they're gonna be a good pressing team. And yeah, it definitely jump started. It, and this is, you might find this a, a different way of looking at it. When somebody is better than you, I feel like it was to our advantage that we could open up the floor. You know, if we got to sit in there and grind on that length and that size and try to do everything in half court, you know, yes, it helped them, but yes, it helped us too because it opened up the floor. We turned it over some, but we got some layups. And, you know, we tried to get some dunks. And I thought our kids, for the most part, I mean, we're better than what we played too, but I thought we played pretty fearless. And, you know, I, I don't have the final stats with me, but they, uh, you know, I know they blocked a lot of shots, but I thought we kept attacking. And I give our kids credit for that. And I'm glad they pressed. I hope it helped him make him better. And it dang sure made us better. What do you think your team got out of this? I think our team, uh, you know, we got a lot of new guys. And I think, first of all, they got to play the Yum Center. Second of all, they got to play Louisville, you know, after playing Western Kentucky on Friday. I think our team got to play against the greatest length that they will face in Division II. I think our team got to play against, you know, pressure, and it was fun, you know. It, I mean, it's so much fun coming here and how you're treated, and just to play against him. I mean, you know, and his teams, and, you know, you look at, you look at basketball in Kentucky, you know, I think Kyle's getting getting in this statement, but you know, the two people that have impacted basketball the most in Kentucky are Coach Rupp and Coach Patino. And to play against his teams, you know, it's a thrill for our staff. You know, it's a challenge to scout, but I think it makes our guys grow up. And I think our guys walk out of here, you know, we're down 14 or 15 and we take a timeout. And I said, okay, it's 327. I said, number one, you can win. Number two, if you hold it under 10, I'll count that as a sort of a win. And I don't ever want to settle for sort of a win as a Kentucky Wesleyan. I'm coaching at a place that's won eight national championship. But we did hope, um, what was it, 77, 68? You know, we did we did get it, you know, under that. And what I'm proud of is our kids fall. And sometimes I think life's about fighting your tail off when you when you when you're gonna lose. It's not always about fighting your tail off when you're gonna win. You know, are you, you know, you're we were gonna probably lose. Although, although uh, they're on the sideline with that last CJ Blackwell's last three, I really thought we were gonna win. And I think our kids, you know, we tried to sell them on that and they were gonna do it. And you're not gonna win if you don't play your tail off. And I think that part that part was great for us. It makes us grow up. We got a lot of new guys too. You see them both now, Western versus Louisville. Any comparisons there? Man. 
<laughs> both, both well coached, both long. Uh, Louisville's deeper. Western's going to be all right too. I'm both of them. I mean, here's the, here's the interesting thing. They're both brand new. You know, they're both brand new. And and you know, we talk about you know Louisville bringing it. Ray Harper's going to bring it too. I mean, you know, I think I can stand here and tell you Ray Harper's the best basketball coach that ever coached at Kentucky Wesley, and I will never top what he did. I mean, I'm not going to six straight final games. I just want one, baby. I just like to get the one. First, right now, I like to just get to the NCAA tournament. But both those guys will bring their teams on. They'll both be quality teams by March. Write that down. I promise you that'll happen. Anything else for Coach? Thanks. For all you guys who want to know, boxers are breathing. It's boxers. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Joe.